So here's here's what's wild. I just literally posted on this last night. And earlier this week, Monday to be exact, we talked about failing. And we talked about, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about failing forward. The most, this is what I posted, the most successful people have failed a lot. And the reality is they failed a lot more than people that are not successful. And that's the biggest, one of the biggest differences between the two. So today there is so much knowledge, like in this room, there's so much knowledge and experience to be successful today that you actually don't have to fail as much or have the same failures that those successful people have had. So when you hear this uh, saying, stand on the shoulders of giants, to me, that was collaboration with the people that were where at, at the place where I wanted to be. And those are the people that I surround myself with, with. And when they share, I actually get to start there. Now, I'm still going to have some failures as I go ahead because I take where they are and I go forward and I see it at a different angle. So I'm, I'm even improving on it and making it better. Yet really, truly, I get to skip over hundreds of failures to get to this new starting point, right? So as for competition, what I would say is find collaborators and keep your eye on the competitors. And then I'll leave you with this last statement that is like a big topic right now in shifting markets and changing markets and economies. Those who gain market share in a shift, keep it. Those who lose market share in a shift never get it back. And I don't want you to feel bad about those people. You know what? They had it. They didn't take care of it. They didn't honor it. They, this is the time to do more and take more market share and find those people that are succeeding and jump ahead. I mean, you get to pass, pass jail and go back to go or whatever it is. So that, that's, my, uh, that's what I'll leave you with today. And it has worked well for me. Awesome, Matt. You listen, and, and and what you said in the beginning, how you opened it, is absolutely brilliant. It's something that I've been sharing, uh, I've probably shared it two three times in the last week, is that successful people have failed more times than unsuccessful people have ever tried. You know, the unsuccessful people say, oh, I tried everything. Bullshit. You maybe tried two or three things and you gave up. The successful person has failed dozens, if not hundreds of times, and kept pushing forward anyway. Because they don't look at it as failure. They don't. They, they look at it as another way of of doing things or another lesson, right? So stop looking at your failures. Stop looking at your mistakes as oh my god, I suck or this and that. That's it. I give up. Stop. You're learning, right? No expert was no expert. You know, actually, every expert was once a beginner. So embrace the suck. Dare to suck. Learn. Grow. You just risk. If you're not making any mistakes. If you're not making any mistakes, you're not trying hard enough. You just right. made me think, stop not failing and start freaking failing like crazy. <laughs> but find, some, find somebody to, that will hang out with you and let you take a jump jump ahead. 100%. If you, you know, there's something else I read recently is if, if you think the cost of failing is too high, wait till you get the bill for regret. Right? So stop it. Stop playing small. Stop living afraid. And go for it. Stop playing small because the, somebody out there is waiting for you to step into who the hell you're supposed to be to be able to ease that suffering, to be able to help guide them through the dark, whatever it is. And again, stop playing small because so many people are doing that. Uh, I've been guilty of that. At times I still am, but I wake the hell up and I keep moving forward. Uh, surround yourself with the people that are going to lift you up and not knock you down and walk your damn talk. Don't just talk the talk. Um, so yeah, that's what I got to say about that. 